Welcome back. Today we are going to use super resolution to upscale our image. Doesn't depend that image is of face, doesn't depend that image is of landscape. This is going to upscale in under a second for us. So without wasting more time, let's jump into the video itself. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a thumb up. First of all, move in description and open this collab notebook link. Then click on connect and check out if the runtime is selected as GPU or not. If not, select it as GPU and click on save. In the top section, you will get some useful links. One is of GitHub repository of ProSR. I would suggest you give this guy a star here. Done such an amazing work. And the another link is to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more such awesome content. And now let's jump into the main code. First of all, move to below section and click on play icon to install the dependencies. You can either click on play button or you can press shift and enter key at the same time to run the cell. Now run all the below cells to install the dependencies without any error. And if you get any error, make sure you ask them in below comment section. I will gonna surely reply to you for your error. And after you run all these cells, I will check you back. All right, now it's time to download the pre-trained model. Now you can choose from three models. One is full model, another is a light model, and the last is adversarial model. For this video, I'm going to test adversarial network and the um, full model. So let's just click on play button on the full model and the adversarial network, and it will going to automatically download in your file browser. Once the download is complete, now it's time to choose the model. You can click on play button and you should get all the list of the models you have downloaded. So you can choose any model from there and copy its name and go to below section upscaling section and change the name to the checkpoint path and make sure you do it exactly. Otherwise you you're going to get some errors. Another parameter you can alter is the scale parameter. Um, scale you can choose from 2, 4 or 8. Uh, 2 means twice the image, 4 means 4x image, 8 means 8x image. And now it's time to upload your image. I would going to choose this landscape image. Make sure the image is under 400 by 400 pixel if it is greater than otherwise collab would going to give you a memory issue. Okay, so once the image has been uploaded, click on three dots and copy the path of the image as I'm doing in this video and replace that path in the dash i parameter. And the last thing you might to change is go inside lib and you should see a pro sr folder. Drag that folder to the root directory of pro capital sr and once you've done that, shift enter in the cell or click on play button and it should upscale your upscale the image for you. And now that image should be inside the output directory. Now let's do one thing. Let's try changing the model to Pro SR GAN um, X4 and let's just paste that model um, over to there just to show you that um, it works. Now click on Shift Enter and it should upscale the image using that model. And once the image has been created, it should create an output directory in your file browser. And in that there should be an upscaled image. And if I double click on that, you should see our image. Let me download it and compare it sidewise, how it looks like comparable to the previous low resolution image. And obviously clearly on the screen, you can see the difference. It has some great difference in it. Now let's do one thing. Let me choose this image as an input image. And this is 400 by 400 pixel. And let's just drag this image to the pro SR directory and as the previous one click on three dots and just copy the path of the image and replace that path in the dash i parameter as i am doing in this video and just click shift enter and it should create an upscale image for you okay so after some processing there is our upscaled image and let's just download this image also and compare it sidewise to the low resolution image okay so both of the images are in are in front of you and you can clearly make the difference and now let's try to replace the model and let's see what it creates different and here are the images from the different model in front of you and let me know in down comment section which image is better in your opinion and that is it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure you give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and till then 
keep coding and i will see you in the next video